Hello there guys, I am the C-H-A-L-L and welcome back to another video. Now today, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers and a potential trade deal that could be involved in a potential Cal Kuzma deal, according to Fadeaway World Blog. Now before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss any more football and basketball content combined. And for now guys, let's get into this video and let's have a look at the statistics and the facts from this trade rumour involving the Los Angeles Lakers. According to FadeAwayWorld.net, with LeBron James and Anthony Davis, the Los Angeles Lakers are primed for success. But with LeBron James growing older by the day and fears that Anthony Davis may leave the LA Lakers, there's a sense of urgency to improve the roster, especially if they fail to win the championship this season. When it comes to any possible deal, Carl Kuzma is going to be the key to getting something done. And according to Eric Pincus of Bleacher Report, the Lakers may already have a few scenarios in mind. Brooklyn Nets guard Spencer Dinwiddie would be an ideal target if he becomes available. Sacramento Kings guard Buddy Heald is an elite shooter and could feast on the open looks that James and Davis generate. An athletic scorer like Zach Levine might be interesting as well, given the Chicago Bulls' recent front office turnover. Kuzma is under contract for one more season at $3.6 million. He's eligible for an extension this offseason. So the Lakers would need to send out significant additional salary to match the for higher paid players like Levine or healed. The Lakers also don't have much else to offer in terms of future draft considerations. The team's biggest hole is their backcourt where LeBron James is currently performing most of the duties. While he's been great in terms of filling the guard role, the Lakers need to add some depth in that department to bolster both ends of the floor and to allow LeBron James to play in off-ball offensive opportunities. In Heald, Dinwiddie and Levine, the Lakers get a guard who can run the offense and find their own shots both on drives and on the perimeter obviously something like this will be greatly improved their position going forward the question is is Kuzma enough to get them such a return he's still young and his ceiling seems relatively high but he's yet to prove he's capable of star level play and he struggled mightily with James and Davis at the helm it'll be interesting to see if he remains a long-term staple of their plan so that article right there brings up some very interesting points. And Buddy Heald, like they said, is an elite scorer. And he's wrapped up some good points there. Levine is an athletic scorer. Spencer Dinwiddie is a great player for the Brooklyn Nets. However, it all depends on if Kuzma is part of the Lakers' long-term plans. And if he can get just about them out of game time, as well as the likes of Anthony Davis and LeBron James. Now, like we said already in the report... The backcourt has already been a massive problem for the Los Angeles Lakers this season. And I think that the backcourt is something they need to uh, fill in that position. So, like other teams have other positions, you know, Philadelphia 76ers have their own problems with the offensive, uh, and other teams have their own problems with the offensive and defensive. The backcourt has always, in terms of the depth of the backcourt positions, that's always been a problem for the Lakers this season. And if they want to win the championship this season or next season to try and keep Anthony Davis at LA and to make sure LeBron James goes out on a high at the end of his career whenever that may be it's always important to keep your depth in that position because don't forget when it comes to subbing out players during the games you've always got to have your subs on standby and your subs have just got to be as strong as your first team as your first you know starting court so you've got to make sure that your bench is just as strong and I think that Carl Kuzma is still young, he's still got a lot to learn, but is he in the long-term plans? If not, then Levine, Dimwitty, and Buddy Heald, they would be three fantastic strong players to get just the right amount of game time and also be a good asset to uh, the substitutes if they can't get into the starting court. Uh, so it would make the bench just as strong as the first team for the Lakers. Uh, so it's a very interesting uh, discussion platform. So I want you to leave your comments down below. Do you think Kuzma should lead the Los Angeles Lakers? And do you think that Levine, Dinwiddie and or Heald should be coming to the Lakers to strengthen the backcourt? Or do you think Kuzma should stay? Make sure you leave your comments down below. Uh, thank you very much, guys, for watching this Trade Rumor update. My name is the C-H-A-L-L. -L. Please like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye. Goodbye!